Hi guys, welcome to a short video about what you can do if you are losing connection to Rocket League on uh, I think it's Epic Games now at the moment, yeah. And here we are on the support page and we are talking about problems which could look like this and uh, yeah, I had this since about two weeks on Rocket League it was saying error while communicating with Rocket League servers please try again later and I tried and tried and tried and it didn't work I even did all the resets here everything I mean you can see that here that's a huge page I think that's the most comprehensive a uh, troubleshooting guide when it comes to connection troubles for Rocket League at least that's the best thing what I have found I will definitely put down the link uh, to this into the description so you can check everything out and try everything so what I did and by the way I solved this issue and of course I will tell you at the end of the video how I solved this don't worry about that but here it's really interesting uh, there are 13 things which they recommend to do and yeah I have been thinking about that and I think uh, it could really be uh, everything I mean all of these things 13 things and uh, what I did I started with a couple of them which I thought are the most likely ones uh, and also the easiest uh, solutions like restart the PC and clear cache and these things and it didn't work it just didn't work and I kept going and going and going one after each other the good thing is it's really nicely described even if you're a beginner you should be able to do that here let's say uh, try deleting rocket leak cash i really had no clue how to do that but it's really nicely described where to go and what to do so it's really highly recommended to do the things if you uh, think you have maybe same issue as me so you can of course uh, shortcut and try the thing which i have done and maybe it will solve the issue so my thing was the firewall so here it's uh, at number eight uh, add an exception to windows firewall and yeah when i went to the firewall uh, i noticed that there was already an exception there and it looked like this here i have uh, made an old picture or a screenshot of this and it i had four entries which is a little bit weird i think and somebody told me yeah, just to click everything so everything is checked and then update and it should do the job but it didn't so of course if you don't know uh, how to get to the firewall you can do this thing here how it's instructed or just hit the windows key and type firewall and you will see the things here what you have and then you have all the options everything what you can do and of course what's needed here is to allow an app through firewall and then you can search for rocket league and what you have and uh, change or remove or and you can see i have it now here again but it's just one entry instead of four but actually the thing which i really had to do is here so let's go to the uh, firewall things and here's a point restore defaults you can click and then you can click here again restore defaults and what's really important that you also have the right notification settings like that windows will notify you if there is something if uh, the firewall has blocked something that's really important otherwise you won't get any notice and you can't just say yes i want to allow this app so it's really important to have uh, it on this setting here and then uh, maybe best is to do a reboot and then start uh, rocket league and check if there are warnings like the firewall is asking you if uh, you want to allow uh, the thing to use your internet and then uh, click on yes and you should be able to play rocket league again at least in my case it solved the issue but again uh, these are really lead sheet items and i'm pretty sure uh, for every point there are a couple of thousands of people 
who were affected of this it's not only the firewall it can be any of these things but for me it was the firewall and i had to do a, a reset of the firewall of course there are advanced options if you are a pro uh, then you can do the advanced options and maybe you will find what the problem really is but probably you wouldn't be here if you are a pro regarding firewall so yeah that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time